I'm showing you guys what I eat in a day today. So fun. Been a little minute since I filmed one of these for y'all. So I didn't talk through my pre-workout meal because y'all, it was like 7.30 in the morning and it was just a bowl of fruit. I cut up a peach, had like a little bowl of watermelon and some coffee, get some carbs in me to fuel my workout. Now I'm back. It's 10.40. When I tell you I'm starving, I'm starving. So I quickly put together this bowl of oatmeal. I'll explain to you guys what's in it. I used to have this oatmeal before my workout, but it was a little too heavy for that early in the morning. And I kind of, I didn't have time to let it digest. I'd have to kind of sprint out the door. And then I felt like I was going to throw up my whole workout. So we switched to fruit and I feel great. But this is what we do after. It's quick cooking oats. I don't measure it. I just eyeball it. Um, I'm kind of used to how much I put every day. So I can just eyeball it. Some granola butter, so good, chocolate one, vegan vanilla protein, a banana, some honey. I like honey on it because it makes it easier to eat because I really like this protein. It's the Legion protein and it tastes so good, but like no matter how good a protein, sometimes I just get the protein ick. It happens, like sometimes food just, sometimes I get the protein ick and that, that's just something about me. Um, so a little bit of honey, I feel just like makes it perfect. And then I mix it all up and I'm gonna demolish this. I have a whole lot of work to do today. So I know before I feel like I'd post stuff and a lot of people are like, how can I cook all this if I'm working? And y'all, I got a crap ton of work to do today. I already did a lot of it this morning. Not a lot of it, but part of it. Still have more stuff to do for social media, for work. Um, just a lot to go on. And I teach dance tonight, so I have to choreograph for that. So my brain is like working overtime. I'm gonna eat this and I can't wait to shower. Mm. So it is about one o'clock and it's time for lunch. I'm going to make a little scramble. Normally I would do one or two eggs and a lot of egg whites, but I forgot to buy egg whites at the store and I need to go back and get some. So that was a fold, so I'm just gonna do like a lot of eggs like four I guess just sprayed a pan and now I'm going to throw in our eggs microwaving right now to defrost I have some of these fire roasted bell peppers and onions from Trader Joe's these are so good so easy to keep on hand in the freezer I just like to defrost them and then I'm gonna mix them in on the pan sometimes when you take it out there's like liquid from just it being frozen and defrosting so I drain some of that out in the sink before throwing it in A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. I always fail when I try to fold these like an omelet. I don't know why. I just threw some bread in the toaster. It's the rustic oven sourdough. This is my favorite. I get it at HEB. It's so good. I did like a really big piece and a smaller piece. They're all different sizes. So the amount I have each day like in slices depends because they're all so different. I'm so excited to eat this. I threw some ketchup seasoning on top of the eggs. This stuff is so good if you like ketchup. It's from Trader Joe's. It literally tastes just like it. It's crazy. And then for the toast, I just do like the lightest, lightest drizzle of olive oil and salt just because I like olive oil better than like the like fake processed butters, I guess. Like I would just rather do that. And I just like the tiniest little bit of it, a little bit of salt, so good. taking creatine again because I feel so much stronger when I take creatine like I notice the difference so much so taking creatine this has some other stuff in it too but it has five grams of creatine so that's works with me so some creatine strawberry lemonade creatine and then Gonna throw some element in there too to stay hydrated. 
I realized like I can drink so much water throughout the day. Now that I've started drinking these, like I don't feel like my thirst is gone until I drink electrolytes, if that makes sense. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know like I I literally drink these electrolytes like every single day because it's so hot and I sweat so much and I literally work out in an outdoor gym and I drink on the weekends and I just want to be hydrated as hell. I feel like taking these two together is just like helps my muscle recovery and my gym performance and all that. So I like to drink this every day that I remember. I feel like maybe I drink it five days a week. Sometimes it just slips my mind. After we go out, I make my boyfriend drink it too. I'm like, here's your creatine and your electrolytes. But yeah, I'm gonna drink this and it's 1.30. Drink this and get back to work. Hello guys, we are back. It is 3.30. It feels like I have done nothing because I just sit on the couch, but like all my work is like on electronic device. So I just sit on my electronic device and like, I call it click clacking. I click clack around, but I'm hungry. So I'm gonna eat some pistachios. We work with um pistachios on the podcast, wonderful pistachios. And y'all, I'm obsessed with these. Like everything I say in that ad, like 150% true. I've been demolishing these. I like snacks that are fun to eat. Like you have to like open them and stuff. And I think that's fun. What can I say? I love pistachios. I don't know how much of these I'm gonna eat. There's only a little bit in here. I'll probably come pretty close to finishing it. So good. Don't sleep on pistachios. Don't sleep on them. It is now five and I already have dinner prepped because I need to have dinner before I go to dance in an hour. And look at that, it's all ready to go. It doesn't look pretty at all because it's been sitting in the fridge. It's literally just pasta, marinara, so marinara sauce, and broccoli. And it's this pasta, Protein Plus Berea pasta. Really good if you don't like chickpea pasta, get this. It um, has not as great protein content, but it tastes like normal pasta way more than chickpea pasta does. So this one could be a great alternative. I think it's a little cheaper too. I got it at HEB, but they have it at like every grocery store. Um, I don't know how much this is of it, but it's kind of a lot. And I'm just gonna eat this and I have like steamed broccoli in it. I'm literally just gonna heat it up and eat this. This looks so not appetizing, but it's so simple. And this is what I'm gonna eat for dinner. Literally the easiest thing ever. This pasta also cooks faster than normal pasta. So extra easy. Protein, carb, veggies, literally, literally so easy. So for my last meal of the day, my little nighttime snack, I'm having a bowl of oatmeal. Just plain oatmeal, some cinnamon, blueberries, and I pour some oat milk on it. And then I have two Big My Melissa cupcakes that I have that you saw me get in the last vlog. So I just put two of those in there to eat. And this bowl of oatmeal is the last thing I'm eating today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.